Hello, I'm Brian Ludy. I'm the Vice President of Sustainability and Compliance here at Ozinga, Chicago. We're here at the UIC uh, Filter Creek Pervious Concrete lot applying a densifier plus repeller. Pervious concrete, if you don't know about it, it's uh, concrete that allows water to flow through and it's got surface area that goes all the way through the pavement. So in the winter time, salts, the icing chemicals, freeze thaw, don't attack just the surface of the pavement, they attack it all the way through. So because of the two and a half million dollar investment UIC has here in this parking lot, they decided to uh, invest in protecting it as much as they can. Hi, I'm Michael Benarek. I work for the University of Illinois Campus Parking Services. The reason I'm here today is because we have a previous uh, concrete project that we did over a year and a half ago. It's a cooler surface. Uh, in the summer months, it reflects the heat back into the atmosphere and not retain it. As far as the water retention goes, none of the rainwater washes off into the uh, water system. It goes into the ground where the microbes break down whatever bacteria, whatever oils pass through it. Well, we started working with Ozinga because they're basically the only contractor or provider of the material or the largest and most knowledgeable that we've come across. Brian has had extensive training in this. He's, he's very knowledgeable and again we rely on him uh, as far as his expertise. His office is right down the road. He's come out at you know a minute's notice. He is driven past basically on his way to and from work since the project to check on the um, parking lot maintenance of it. It's fairly simple. The pervious concrete just needs to be vacuumed at a monthly intervals to keep the debris from blocking the porousness of the concrete. So Brian has stopped by even without us knowing and just to check on the condition. And we met again out here in July and I asked him how we're doing. He says, you guys have been doing a great job. We talked about this application and we put it all together. Hi, my name is Paul Kolnick. I'm a blackout seal coating. We're here down at UIC today. And what we do is we are doing the application of the repeller densifier for the pervious concrete parking lot here at UIC. What we're doing is we're putting it down with our airless stripers and uh, it goes down at about 2500 PSI, uh, which helps drive the uh, material down into the pores of the concrete. The densifier plus repeller is a product that uh, penetrates the concrete paste and it takes any unreacted materials, any cement that hasn't hydrated, any reaction products, lime, and turns it back into CSH or concrete glue to make the paste dense and much higher quality. Uh, it also has a repellent in it, a silane, that repels water and salts and de-icing chemicals so that the water that's going through, if it's got chemicals in it, salts, de-icing chemicals, instead of attacking the concrete paste, the concrete paste is better quality, denser, and it's gonna repel that water and have it flow straight through the pavement. It can also be used on regular concrete. Uh, a lot of people salt their exits and entryways to their buildings very heavily, and that salt will actually attack the glue that holds concrete together. So when we put the densifier with repeller on there, it helps protect that concrete from uh, the de-icing salts. UIC also has some parking garages that have some damage. You start seeing the rust coming out of the concrete. That's where the rebar is being attacked. We can spray a version of this on there that actually has a rebar protection so it'll penetrate the concrete, make the concrete impermeable, and actually protect the rebar to make the structure last maybe 10 or 20 years longer.